Hey what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another Genshin Impact video guys today we're going to be talking about Eula a new Cryo Claymore user we're just going to be talking about some of her attacks some of her passives maybe some of her constellations as well this is what we know about her and yeah let's just get straight into it I would probably be summoning for Eula yes Zhongli is probably the right call but I don't really summon for her, you know strong and let's just talk about some of her attacks so normal attacks does five consecutive strike all right so she also has a charged attack as does everyone else her charged attack doesn't do the spin but she rather does the you know lices she also has her plunging attack which does aoe damage her e and her q as well her e has a press and a hold i'm pretty sure the just the press just does the cryo damage it doesn't do anything else special but i'm pretty sure it gains a stack of some sort of passive and in that passive you decrease someone else's resistance and also increases Yola's resistance to interruption and as well as defense so i think that's pretty cool so what does her hold do while wielding her sword she consumes a stack of her passive and then it lashes like all over the place dealing aoe cryo damage i'm pretty sure this is pretty good to use because this will decrease their physical and cryo resistance this will allow you to do a lot more damage with eula which i think is what's going to make her really powerful i'm not sure if this happened as well with um ganyu but i'm pretty sure this uh just decreasing other people's physical resistance and i think it's going to be really powerful i cannot wait for eula to come out what does her ultimate do I'm not sure if they show it in the trailer. I think the the sword floating in the air, that is her ultimate. She releases AoE cryo damage and then there's a sword that follows her around. Sword does AoE cryo damage as well. Collect all the power or the Grim Heart. At the end of it, it's gonna burst, it's gonna explode and deal a lot of damage to nearby opponent. So I feel like that's gonna be really cool mechanic that we haven't seen yet. I hope it's gonna do crazy damage numbers. Also, if it does, it's kind of <laughs> too broken. <laughs> and uh, we already have too many broken characters to be fair. So what are her passive talent and what are her some of her constellations? Her passive talent is when Eula... So what is her passive talent in combat? Well, I think she has two, which is if two stacks of Grimheart are consumed upon unleashing the holding mode of ice tide vortex which is her e a shattered light falls sword will be created that will explode immediately um, dealing 50 percent of the basic physical damage by the light sword created by glacial illumination which is the ult wait that sounds kind of insane that sounds really 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 insane because dealing 50 percent of the basic physical damage dealt by light fight sold um, light fall sword created by glacial illumination that's her ultimate the glacial illumination so after her ultimate it's going to do 50% of the physical damage dealt by light files. So, what? Oh, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. So, she's going to create a sword with her E as well. That's, that's, that's cool. I don't mind. That's, that's insane. That sounds crazy to me. All right. So, her other passive is called Wellspring of Warlust. Which, when Glacial Illumination is cast your Q or your ultimate cooldown of ice tide vortex is reset and Eula gains one stack of Grimheart. So if you do this twice you gain two stacks of Grimheart enabling you to do the passive talent of rolling rhyme when you hold the ice tide vortex it's gonna create a sword as well which is nuts I cannot wait to see that I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty 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 hog <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be talking about some of her constellations. Okay, so her first constellation is insane. I'm pretty sure her first constellation is very powerful. And I'm not really sure how powerful, but it looks really strong. So let me just read this out for you. It's called Tidal Illusion. Every time Ice Tide Vortex, her E, 
Grimheart stacks are consumed, Eula's physical damage is increased by 30% for 6 seconds. So if we read her passive talent, the earlier one, you can see that they both align together because dealing 50% of the basic physical damage by her passive talent after her sword is exploded, because the first constellation goes along with it, it will increase the damage by 30% more for 6 seconds. You can stack this, I'm pretty sure, the duration. You can stack the duration because you can stack a bunch of Grimheart together. The maximum amount is 18 seconds this is very powerful so getting her first constellation is very good for you all right what's the second one decreases the cooldown of ice tide voltex holding mode rendering identical to cd that's pretty good but i'm not sure how good it is third one is increases the talent level fourth one lightfall sword deals 25 percent increased damage against opponents with less than 50% HP. Increases the level for the fifth one of the talent. And the final one, Noble Obligation. Lightfall swords created by Glacial Illumination start with five stacks of energy. Normal attacks, elemental skills, and elemental bursts have 50% chance to grant the Lightfall sword an additional stack of energy. Uh, that one's pretty insane too. I truly truly wonder that sounds too too good to be true anyways that that's all her passives her talents her i haven't really talked about her stat because well it's just a long numbers game and i rather just see it in the game anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did hit the like button guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye